welcome to st michael's academy bts e learning class of english class 5 today we will start with the second poem which is titled tiger written by leslie norris now we will do the introduction of the poet george leslie norris george leslie norris was a poet and short story writer he taught at academic institution in britain and the united states norris is considered one of the most important welsh writers and his work has won many prizes some of his famous literary works are finding gold sliding and the girl from cardigan Many of his poems speaks about the beauty of the natural world. Before starting the poem, first we will know the theme of the poem. The poem written by Leslie Norris explains the helplessness of the caged tiger that lives in a zoo. The poet explains what his life could be. if he had been a free animal the poet has tried to explain about the condition of animals that are caged by human being for their own fun the rhymic scheme in the poem is a b c b and the poet has used devices like precipitation imaginary and repetition to add clarity to the theme and beauty of this poem now we will read the whole poem first tiger written by leslie norris he stalks in his vivid streaks the few steps of his cage on pads of velvet quite in his quiet range he should be lurking in the shadow sliding through the long grass near the water hole where plum steer pass he should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge bearing his white fangs his clowns terrorizing the village but he is locked in a concrete cell stalking the length of his cage ignoring visitors he hears the last voice at night the patrolling cars and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars before starting the first stanza we will know the difficult words stalks means follows slowly and quietly before attacking its prey now the second one is pads that means the soft fleshy part on the lower side of an animal's foot now we will do the first stanza first we will read the stanza and then after the, that we will do the explanation he stalks in his vivid streaks the few steps of his cage on pads of velvet quite in his quiet range so in this stanza the poet describes the appearance of the tiger in the zoo and its daily movements he says that the tiger moves up and down of his cage the stripes on its body can be distinguished even seen from far as they are darker in color than the rest of his coat the tiger walks quietly without making a sound because of his smooth velvet pads the tiger is able to walk only few steps because of the length of its cage it covers that distance in a few mere steps only the tiger is full of anger but it is suppressed because he knows that he is helpless here 
now the second stanza before starting the second stanza first we will know the difficult words lurking means remaining hidden and quietly waiting before attacking someone or something the next one is water hole it means a pond or a lake in a jungle where animals come to drink water now we will read the second stanza and after that we will do the explanation he should be lurking in the shadow sliding through the long grass near the water hole where plump deer pass in this stanza the poet is filled with pity while looking at the imprisoned tiger the poet imagines another life for the tiger other than the zoo he says that the poor tiger should have been in its natural habitat that is in the wild forest he says that under normal conditions this tiger would have been moving in the darkness not in the clear daylights it would have been lying in the shadows of trees or hiding itself behind long grass so that its prey will not be able to detect its movement in this way the tiger would have moved near the water hole where all the animals of the forest come to drink on sunny afternoons there near the water hole he would be waiting for some fat deer to pass that way thus he would be lying there in expectation of a heavy feast now the third stanza first we will know the difficult words fangs means large sharp teeth of animals now next one is terrorizing means frightening and filling with dread now we will do the reading of the third stanza first he should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge bearing his white fangs and his clowns terrorizing the village now in this stanza the poet says that even though he would prefer the tiger to live in the wild it is not as if it would lose all touches with human civilization he imagines what the tiger will do in case he failed to find any prey in his natural habitat he says that the tiger would be growling at the edge of the jungle near some village he would be showing his white fangs and clowns while moving here and there with the intention of scaring all the inhabitant of that village he would thus become a cause of terror for the villagers the poet here gives a hint that if we destroy the natural habitat of tigers they will be forced to turn to our towns and village to find their food now the fourth stanza first we will know the difficult word concrete means a hard substance made with cement now we will read the fourth stanza but he is locked in a concrete cell stalking the length of his cage ignoring the visitors so in this stanza the poet stops imagining the tiger's alternate life and return to its real one the poet sees the tiger caged in a small concrete cell in the zoo like a prisoner in the jail in spite of all his strength it now lies imprisoned behind the bars 
the tiger pays no attention to the visitors who come to see him every day at the zoo instead of this the tiger very slowly and silently move up and down along the length of the cage without any disturbance in the form of human intervention now the last and the fifth stanza so the difficult word patrolling means going around a place to guard it now we will read the fifth stanza he hears the last voice at night the patrolling cars and the stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars so in this stanza the poet describes about the daily routine of the tiger the tiger does not rest during the day because of the visitors even at night it stay awake till the very last voice of the zoo keeper locking up and going home can be heard after that too it does not go to sleep all night it remain disturbed due to the noise of the patrolling cars he keeps staring at the brilliant stars with his brilliant eyes perhaps he is asking heaven why he has been imprisoned there I hope you understood the poem thank you